I've had Tom Morello on the brain lately, so I thought it would be a good time to learn how to play guerrilla radio, and you know what they say, never say no to a good time. Thank you for the great suggestion, Mr. Taizo. But before any gorillas listen to any radios, I would like to take a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Mark Magnifico, Brian Turley, and William Riccoboni, who surely drives a Zamboni all alone. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for your support. If you would like to join that crazy club, the link, of course, is in the description. One of the things I love about Tom Morello is despite everything he knows about music, which is a lot, he's still okay writing a riff that just uses one finger, which is the intro to this song. We're going to be on the E string. I'm going to say O for open, for, you know, economy of syllables. O, two, two, O, two, O, two. And then we switch to the A string. O, two. O, two, two, O, two. is the opening riff. And if you throw some tremolo on there, it becomes something really special. When the band kicks in, however, that becomes a power chord riff. We're gonna need the power chords E, which is open E string plus A string second fret. F sharp, which is E string second fret plus A string fourth fret. A. Open A string plus D string 2nd fret, and B, A string 2nd fret plus D string 4th fret. E, F sharp, A, B, we are going to go. E, F sharp, now I'm just going to take my pointer finger off and put it back on like this. Off on, off on. It could be E, F sharp, E, F sharp. It's a pretty fast riff for that. You can strive for that if you want, but I'm just gonna take my pointer finger off and put it back on. E, F sharp, off on, off on, A, B. I love this riff because of the distance between this note and that note. It's G2, E2, give it a bendy wiggle, a wiggle, if you will, to E open. G2, E2, E open, followed by G1, E2, E open. So this happens a bunch of times. I wiggled so furiously, my string fell off the, <laughs> the fretboard. The verse occurs entirely on the E string. It's open to two. To mimic the sound, you might use your wah pedal and just kind of tap with the quarter notes. I believe Tom's got a envelope filter on there. I pulled one up. It's not exactly right, but here's the idea. At 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it's that one finger intro riff again, but with a phaser or a flanger. I pulled up a flanger. <laughs> Feel a little bit like Peter Frampton. For the solo, he's got a pitch shifter of some sort. Maybe it's his Digitech whammy. I've got my Digitech whammy plugged in. I'm gonna grab the A string. 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, and then up to D7. Then you hear his flanger kick on again when he goes. <laughs> then it's gonna be A string nine seven nine, reaching for the D string ninth fret. Give it a bend. Fall down to D seven. Land on A nine. some random notes, so I'm just going to hit my whammy pedal and hit some notes. And that's your solo. And the outro is the quintessential Tom Morello riff for this song. It's going to be open two on the E string, and then we're going to slide up to A9. Three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Muted strums. the outro. 
I just realized I should probably explain to you, if you want to really keep it going, you got to do your open two, followed by two muted strums, followed by your slide up, followed by two more muted strums. So, one, two, one, two. should help you keep it going more. And that's it. I love playing Tom Morello's stuff. I don't play piano, but people who play piano say that when they play Mozart, it's like all the universe and the stars align, and it's just, for whatever reason, such a joy to play on the piano. That's how I feel about Tom Morello and the guitar. He is the Mozart of guitar. He opined humbly. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.